pension. You need a pension? Potty training is frustrating. Mommy, who did this? I think she's still pregnant, isn't she? she is. I think it's gonna happen over the next probably two to three weeks. Hey, Vagin in here! <laughs> promise the kids were quick this morning and so they get to have a donut for breakfast they didn't get to have a donut last night because they weren't fast they weren't doing what I asked them to and as was freaking out right kids don't get what they want when they throw a temper tantrum right as bye have a great day, don't freeze anybody. I'm sitting here in front of our fireplace, hating everything. It's early in the morning, our house is cold, outside everything is covered in snow and ice, I hate the cold so much. I hate the snow and the cold. You're so dramatic. No, I'm not. I hate the cold. It sucks. You know, you shouldn't really say you hate anything. Okay, I very strongly dislike with an H word, snow and cold. You need to work on your positivity, lady. I know, I'm positive in other stuff. Just not Like cold. what? Like heat? You gotta take the good with the bad, the bad with the good, yo. I think I'm gonna have Danielle go out and shovel some snow. No. <laughs> Daddy! Yes, yeah, Mommy, I'm gonna do my tea. Are you asking for a donut? Uh huh. Dude, look down! <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> it is way better to give. Donuts to happy boys, huh? Not screaming, crying, crazy monkey boys. Right? No. <laughs> happy boys get donuts. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have on today? Remember what they're called? What's the cut? Are they unders? Yeah. What kind of unders? Spider-Man unders. Joe's Spider-Man unders this morning and he's super excited. We're gonna set the timer and when it goes off, it's time to try pee pee on the potty, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's finished! What do we need to do now? Okay, go sit on the potty and try going pee pee. Canyon. What happened? You just peed on the potty? <laughs> Canyon peed, but he still needs to poop and he doesn't want to. <coughs> right? I need a pension. You need a pension? It's time to retire. <laughs> Remember what happens if you push out the poops? I'll give you a toy. <laughs> it's not my toy though. What he's going through right now, he really needs to go poop and he really doesn't want to. And so he's saying he doesn't want prizes for going poop. He's not happy. He just needs to push it out and he, it's just so scary for him. always love to hear that school is great. Eight, 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 eight. Are you guys freezing? Yes, 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 yes. It's like eight, 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 eight. Whoa. I am in the car. I just got home from school. But um, this is my buck. Ah. It's a shape back. Look at all the pages. It's not Don't you wish your your life was this hard? Seriously. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. What's so funny? That you laid on the floor and fell asleep for the last three hours? Yeah. 
Are you done with all of your schoolwork? Yeah. That is what homeschool is all about. Getting your work done and doing whatever the heck you want after that. Good job. That's how long you have to scrub soap. To get the germs off? No, to put soap everywhere. <laughs> What do, what do you think? But what does that, what does soap do? I don't know. Just scares the germs, maybe? Okay, what do you do when you're gonna wash your hands? You just went potty, now you're gonna wash your hands. What do you do? So, who taught you to sing the ABCs when you put soap on? A germ teacher that came in my class. I wasn't a germ teacher. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't the gym teacher? The doctor at the school? The nurse? The school nurse? Yeah! Hi! Hello. Hello. I got home a while ago. Today I got books from the library. I left one at school to read it. Um. <laughs> at school and I also brought one home and I'm chasing Danielle around because she took it and now she's reading it. Danielle, give me my book. What do you say? Please. Magic word. Mm, please. Nope. Mm, give me my book. Give. Nope. Me. Oh. Mine. Mm. Give me my book. Body training is frustrating. I have been setting timers, taking Canyon to the potty, and he won't go. He came upstairs and I asked him to get on the potty. He grabbed his drink. Johnny and I were doing some work and he ran out of the room and hid and peed his pants. He usually doesn't get in trouble for having accidents, but this was deliberate. He deliberately came in here and hid to pee. So he gets a little bit of corner time to think about it. Why did you get corner time? Because I went up and go down and turn the girl away. Because you up, down, touch the ground? That's what Woody the Pooh does. When I up, down, touch the ground. No, you mm -hmm. went and hid and did what? Pee. Yeah, where does the pee go? <laughs> in the body. Not on the carpet. <laughs> no more peeing in unders, please. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. It's a good thing you're so up cute. down, shut the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty darn cute. Can I go see Pirates of Penzance tonight? It's the play at my school. That you're already planning on going to that. Yeah, and then mommy said, ask your dad. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. I don't understand how to do math at all. Oh! When we were in California, I was gone when we learned this stuff, and I have a test tomorrow, and I have to learn this, and I'm so, I don't know how to do it. My friend Carson is going over it with me, and he's showing me how to do it, so hopefully I understand how to do it. Ace my test tomorrow. I really, really hope I will base my test tomorrow because it's all a physics and fitness test tomorrow that I have to study for. Hey, go. Time to eat. Eat, eat, eat. eat it up. Eat it up. <laughs> Alexa, pause. Mommy? What? Making peas. Did you make blue peas? I put the peas in. What is it, dude? Who put this in? It's one of those blue things. A little <laughs> tiny pea. Eat it. A That's a pea. Mm -mm. What does it taste like? Look. What is it? Is it good? Who did this? Somebody played a trick on Savannah. us. I didn't know At Savannah. <laughs> Gigo, was it you? Gigo. No? Who was it? 
It's Danielle. Oh, Danielle did it. <laughs> it's one of these. Yep, oh. good job. Okay, eat it up, dude. Dude, you, you, you. Oh, are those you got big muscles? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Why do, why do you ride on yourself? Can I draw on you? Dude, we were playing for two seconds, yo. <laughs> <laughs> two seconds. I think I'm Whoa. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so my goal is, I shouldn't say it too loud because I probably will never hit it, to just be like this and do a handstand without jumping. So like the gymnasts do. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Whoa! Good job! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yay, yeah. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa, look at these muscles. Whoa. Eagle, eagle, eagle. <laughs> Who are you texting? Ellie. Let's go see if we can find a cat. Okay. This is what you're wearing to find a cat? <laughs> yeah. Wait, we need to get Charlie to where he's not going to be bugging us. Can you do that? Good? Yeah. Oh, there's the old man. Come on in, dude. He's clean and dry. He's like, doesn't even go outside. Charlie's funny. He ro roams around the yard, does his thing, just like, it, and it doesn't even, he really doesn't care what the temperature is outside. He just likes to be on the porch or somewhere else. Polar, however, is in the kennel, which is in the garage, and it has a heater in it, so it's like 70 degrees in there, 75 degrees. Polar literally leaves the house in the morning, goes to the kennel, hangs out there all day, and comes and eats, and then goes back there and hangs out, and then comes back in and hangs out. So. Literally, and then the days that it's really cold, he hangs out in Danielle's room, and Allie's room, all day, and he, what, sleeps probably 75% of the day? Yeah. He's just an old man, that's just what he wants to do. All right, so there's two places that I want to look, Danielle. First place is in the old truck. Don't hear anything. Where else? Under the shed, in the shed. So there's piles of wood back here, but there's nothing. There's a pile of wood back there. Can you see anything under there? I don't think she's under here right now. But you don't see any or hear any kittens or anything? Uh-uh. I think she's still pregnant, isn't she? She is. Oh, she is? I, I think she is. The thing that we're concerned about, Danielle's more concerned about, is the cat having babies out here and the babies end up dying because we did have that happen once where the baby, the, uh, the uh, cat, crazy cat we had, had babies in the windowsill and several of them and actually it was died. Actually, it was like April and it was only raining. Yeah, it was pretty cold out, but it, it was actually more than raining. It was frozen because yeah. one of them, their, his ear froze to the ground and I actually was able to revive, not really even revive that one. We pumped his chest and kind of gave him CPR until he came back to life. So his name was Lucky and one of his ears was kind of gone because it actually had gotten frostbite. So um, anyway, that's why we're out here looking for it. No signs, no kittens, no cat yet. Keep watching, I think it's gonna happen over the next probably two to three weeks. And by the way, this is not our cat. Danielle has claimed the cat. It's not our cat though, it's a stray cat. It just decided to come around here because it's lots and lots of, there's lots and lots of food around here because we feed the other cat. And so there's food there and we feed the dogs out here and, he, and this cat eats dog food. So it just comes around all the time to eat food and it's Charlie's cat too, because it's the one that Charlie hangs out with and plays with all the time. Just got back from Pirates of Penzance. It was super fun. I, all my friends are amazing in it. They're awesome. Zach's in it, and Adam is in it. A bunch of my other friends are in it, and that was so, so much fun. I'm gonna go to bed, because I'm super tired, and I have three tests to take tomorrow. Before I go to bed, I wanted to tell you guys that you are all given a special talent in life. You may not know it now, but you will know it sometime in the future or you have already figured it out but you were given that talent for a reason and use it to show who you are use it use your one talent to prove that you are amazing that you are awesome and that talent is who you are and don't let anyone take it away from you or judge you for it i love you guys so much and we all love you and remember that you are worth it good night guys